Hello, my name is Thomas O'Neill, sales manager for Camper Nicholson's, and welcome on board Globas, a 42.8 meter San Lorenzo 460 Explorer yacht. Today, we're going to have a full walkthrough on board so that you have a chance to discover this amazing yacht. San Lorenzo's 460 Explorer is the ultimate toy platform. Here on Globas, you can find a small sailing boat, a 25 foot Axopar cabin cruiser, as well as a crew tender. The main crane can lift up to four and a half tons. Once all the toys are launched, an operation which takes 20 to 25 minutes, the aft deck can be used for exercising, yoga, sun lounging, or even as a dance floor. Other toys on board include two jet skis, a three-seater version and a stand-up one, and two sea bobs, which are located in the beach club. The sun deck of Globass is an absolute delight. You can relax in the jacuzzi forwards, then uh, make your way to the bar for a pre-dinner cocktail. The bar is also fully equipped with ice maker, fridge and teppanyaki grill, and also houses the dumbwaiter for a convenient connection to the galley. Just after the bar is the place where most meals are taken on board, be it a casual lunch or a sunset dinner. This table can easily accommodate up to 12 guests. Finally, located after the sun deck are a few comfortable sun lounges to relax during the day. This area can also be covered if shade is required, as well as fully enclosed to increase privacy while in port or it's just to shelter from the elements. Now, Globas is a 42.8 meter yacht. However, at 468 gross tons, she has the volume that you would usually find on a much larger yacht. The interior decoration of Globas is a marriage of two design philosophies, Italian and British. Italian designer furniture and accessories from the likes of Minotti, Porada or Giorgetti are combined with British textiles and colors. The fabrics used recall the world of high fashion. The result is sophisticated and elegant, yet comfortable and homely. The main wood used throughout is canaletto walnut, with exquisite detailing in hand-stitched dark brown leather, gray fabrics, and striking elements with a brushed metal finish. The main deck salon accommodates a seating area located in between the two side doors aft, a central larger seating area facing the pop-up television, and a dining area forward for 10. A day head for visiting guests is located on this deck, as well as on the deck above. Globus accommodates up to 12 guests in six cabins. Five guest cabins located on the lower deck, which include three VIP cabins and two twin cabins, all en suite, all finished with the same uh, beautiful furnishings found throughout the yacht. Also located on the lower deck, opposite the forward VIP cabin, is a small gym, complete with its own bathroom, and one master cabin, which is located on the main deck forward. The upper deck is one of my favorite spots on board. The plush, aft-facing U-shaped sofa is the perfect place to enjoy a movie or sporting event, or simply to soak in the views provided by the four height windows on three sides. The sheltered deck further aft is the owner's favorite breakfast spot, but can also be enjoyed at any time of day or night. This is the heart of the ship. Here you will find two Caterpillar C32 Acert engines propelling Globas to a top speed of 16 knots, while a range of 4,000 nautical miles is achieved at the economical speed of 11 knots. Fuel capacity is 59,600 liters, slightly more than on sister ships due to an extra tank. Comfortable cruising is guaranteed by the Naiad fin stabilization system, which works as well underway as at anchor. Water capacity of 10,000 liters is easily replenished by the onboard water makers, desalinating at the rate of 400 liters per hour. At the aft end of the engine room is a fully enclosed control room housing all the ship's controls and alarms. Access from the crew mess and from the engine room, this full height tunnel is a feature which usually belongs to much larger yachts. Here are located the main refrigerators and the laundry. The fridges, washing machines and dryers are all mounted on rails, which greatly facilitates their servicing as well as the access to the piping behind. The most stable part of the ship, 
The under lower deck allows the crew to access all main technical areas of the vessel, including the engine room, in full protection from the elements, while also guaranteeing invisible operations. This has truly been designed with the crew and the operations of the yacht in mind, and the feedback received from the crew of Globas been nothing short of excellent. The galley is equipped with top-of-the-range professional appliances, and with a large hull window, sets the scene for some inspired cuisine. Directly aft of the galley is the main deck pantry, connected with another pantry one deck above. Generally speaking, crew access has been well thought through, with dedicated staircases and passageways. On the lower deck forward is found the crew mess, as well as three twin cabins for crew. The captain's comfortable quarters are conveniently located just aft of the bridge, allowing him to remain in close contact with the ship's command center. Here in the bridge, with great visibility and state-of-the-art equipment, one can really get the feeling that Globas can take on any sea. She has cruised extensively since her delivery, crossing the Atlantic multiple times. And in fact, sister ships have gone as far as Alaska, Hawaii, and the far reaches of the Pacific Ocean, proving the true exploration nature of San Lorenzo's Explorer series. Designed by Francesco Paskowski in close cooperation with San Lorenzo's in-house team, the yacht's unique profile recalls ocean-going working vessels, while at the same time remaining elegant and graceful on the water. Details such as a teak cap rail running down the sides of the main deck, the vertical windows and the forward superstructure all contribute to the yacht's unique and sophisticated look. I hope you enjoyed discovering Globass with us today. Although we have only scratched the surface of what this amazing yacht has to offer. Please do reach out if you require any information or to arrange a viewing. We would love to have you on board. I want to close by thanking the owner and the crew of Globas for their support. That's all from me. Goodbye for now.